Hey guys, welcome back and thanks for watching. I have a very impromptu video today. I got home all of like five seconds ago and I went a little crazy at Target. And while I was there, I was picking up some repurchases, some things that I thought were cute. And I was like, you know what? Let's buy two of some of these items. And what I'm gonna do is put them in this bag and I'll give you guys giveaway like details later in the video. And one of you guys is gonna win all of the stuff that I'm sharing in today's video. So um, I I'm so excited for this. I know you guys have been loving the giveaways and I'm really excited to do it. So let's kind of do this Target haul. It's like some beauty, uh, jewelry, kid stuff. And let's just go ahead and get started. But also I do want you guys to know everything that I'm sharing will also be linked below. <laughs> So first I do want to say this bag. So I actually got this just for you guys. I wanted something to put it in. Um, I really like the Walmart Weekender bag, so I didn't really need another one, but this one is so nice and I hear a lot of people talk about it. So I was like, this would be a really cute way to kind of like give this to you guys. Um, since this is not mine, I'm going to leave the stuffing in it unless I get issues, like I have issues with like finding a shipping box that will fit the stuff. Um, so just know, you know, this is, I'm not gonna really mess with this that much. Um, pocket on the front and pocket on the back for this, but it's a really good color, has a carrying like strap for the shoulder. Um, so cute weekender bag, and you guys who like, whoever wins will be um, getting this. So let's start out with jewelry. I actually laid all of y'all's stuff kind of out. And again, I got two of everything. So I actually got some really cute necklaces. I will um, put them up on the screen with you guys so you can see a little bit closer detail. But I got this one, it is like three layers and this one does not have the ability to like remove a single necklace. So you are getting all three when you wear this. I'm trying to get a little bit better about wearing my necklaces. I have so many pretty ones, but y'all can see like I love layered jewelry. These are the two that I wear all the time, one for my husband, one for my son. So um, I like layered jewelry. So when I saw this, I thought this would be really cute, but it's also affordable. This is only $13. And then I got a couple more layering pieces as well this one um, I got it has a pendant on it and then two like regular chains again not gonna be able to remove this this one's $15 super super cute so I got two of those and when I say two I do like want to clarify because sometimes I feel like I can be a little wordy one is for me and then one is for the giveaway um, and then I've got this adorable necklace here. It has like stones on it and then just a very simple chain, another $15 necklace. And I find that um, a New Day universal thread, those are usually fine to wear for long periods of time, but you can't like shower in them. Um, don't wear them like out unless, you know, there is potential to ruin them. Uh, if you get like soap on them and stuff. So, you know, you are gonna have to take these off at night. You can't like sleep in them or anything. But um, I know that some people don't love to sleep in jewelry at this point it does not bother me because I've just been doing it for so long um, and then another $15 necklace this one's from Universal Thread I actually got this because I bought a necklace the other day and I thought it would be so cute with this because I bought it from Electric Picks or no I bought a bracelet that's what it is I bought a bracelet from Electric Picks and it looked very similar to this one so I was like that would be really cute to kind of have these matching pieces so $15 necklace um, so one of you guys is gonna get all four of those Along with these, I actually bought two pair of these. This is what prompted me to do the entire giveaway because I saw these and I was like, oh, I love them. I see these as like, they have a designer, like a pair of earrings like these. I can't think of the brand, but I know that now everyone is making a look for less. And when I saw these, I was like, oh my gosh, I should get these and put them in the giveaway. So $8 for these, they feel very lightweight. Um, they do have like the two different kinds of backs. I don't always wear two kinds of backs, but I do appreciate that especially Target always has earrings that come with two sets of backs. So kind of depends on what's more comfortable for you. Um, or you know, you can just double down and make sure that that earring is staying put. And then actually I'll start with just what I bought two of because that's just mine. So I bought two of these. One of you guys will be getting this. The Biore No Strips. I have talked about these probably since, like I think one of my very first skincare videos and I know one of my very first skincare blog posts, I mentioned these because these are just golden. They've been around for so long. I feel like these truly set the standard for pore nose strips because these are so good and the charcoal is that much more powerful. Um, if you have sensitive skin like me, just be careful how much you use them. But I do find that it's one of those things you use a decent amount of them, you know, 
I would not say every day or even every other day, maybe every few days until you really notice those pores are gone and then you kind of need to keep doing it for maintenance. Um, so my husband even likes these. The charcoal ones are super powerful. So I bought one of those for you guys and the one for me. I needed to get a refill, so one of you guys will be getting this too. The e.l.f. Poreless Putty Primer. This is actually sheer. It does have kind of a pink tone to it, but what you'll do is you'll put this on, let it sit for like five to ten minutes, and then put your makeup on. Some of the top beauty bloggers that I follow religiously that like always have the best makeup recommendations swear that this is like a top tier primer, and I totally believe that. Maybe two to three years at this point I've been using this. It is so, so good, um, and a little bit goes a long way. I find that it works best when you press and don't necessarily rub and it's not one that I think you really need to rub into every bit of your skin probably just the parts of your skin that really are like your problem areas or if you notice like breaking up makeup in some places like for me around my nose is usually a problem so I'll just like kind of press the product as best as I can into my nose let it sit for 10 minutes after all my skincare is on and then I'll start my makeup and then this as well oh my goodness you guys have heard me talk about the NYX brow glue a ton here a ton on Instagram a ton on my blog um, this is pretty much the only brow glue that I've been using for a very long time at this point. I don't even know how long and it lasts you for so long. The two is tiny. It's clear so it does dry down clear but this stuff works so well and I did actually see today they have a black one. I didn't see if they had any other colors um, which I get nervous. Like I would get nervous to have I use the e.l.f. brow pencil like religiously. I would get nervous to use an e.l.f. brow pencil and then like a NYX if they came out with like a taupe color. I would kind of get nervous to use two taupe colors back to back, but I'm probably always going to stick with clear, so I got clear today. Very, very good brow gel, so got two of those. Two more things for you guys. So um, I really love the Burt's Bees Micellar Facial Towelettes. They have a lot of different like scents of these. I like this one and the green one. I I'm not sure what the green one is, um, but this one, I'm actually not sure what the pink one is either. Rose water. That's what this one is. This one has rose water in it, so I'm maybe the green one probably has like aloe in it, but I love the green and the pink, so I grabbed one of these today. One for y'all, one for me. And then these, so whoever wins this stuff, definitely you'll have to forgive me with how I ship this. So this is the Tree Hut Vitamin C Shea Shea sugar scrub. I can never say that one. This is amazing to use this time of year. It is a body scrub because, well, one, it's gentle, but two, I find that I think that, like even their vanilla scent just smells very tropical to me, so I think it's great for the summer, but whenever you are constantly self-tanning, I find that, you know, you got to do the exfoliating. You got to, if you're like shaving your legs a lot, I still like to exfoliate, um, and this is actually a really good exfoliate for your body, but it's also really hydrating. Um, I have been using Tree Hut for many, many years. You can find it at Ulta as well. Um, I do find that Target has, at least my Target, has about the same, if maybe not a little bit more than my Ulta selection has in stores. Um, but this is the Tree Hut Vitamin C Shea Sugar Scrub, and it smells really, really good. I just think they all smell tropical. Um, but I'm gonna like probably triple bag that if I can because I do get nervous. I have never had any issue, even when I've like purchased this online and had it come in, I've never had any issues with it leaking. Um, but I do sometimes in the store see, you know, that one is leaked. So I'm going to like triple bag that up. So you'll just have to forgive me when you get that and be like, what is going on? Yes, Mariah is crazy and does not like leaking things. You can just tell yourself that. And then for the things that I bought just, you know, for myself to keep, um, that I did buy two of, one is this clip. I actually, here, let me go ahead and see if I can get this off. Probably not without breaking it. Ah, I'm not going to be able to get that. But this is a hair clip that is very long. My hair is getting significantly longer by the day. And I definitely find that like medium sized hair clips are not doing it anymore. I need the full size. So I got this one because I really like the kind of pattern on it. Um, I have a good pack from Amazon, but. My son is in his phase of taking things, playing with them, and then putting them places. I'm finding that shoes are like his favorite place to hide a lot of things. I'm finding a lot of stuff in shoes. So I have lost a good chunk of my clips, so I needed another one. And I actually got this one because if you guys have ever seen me talk about that Amazon like jewelry dish, I love it. It's got a little tray on top. 
and I like to put my most used jewelry in that on that I like wear on a daily basis but that I take off at night I like to put that on my bedside table problem is I birthed a little long string bean and he has grown like a weed and so he is so tall that he is now at the top of my um he's not even one yet he'll be one in like three weeks he is he is like can see over my vanity already and he can like very easily reach up on that thing there have been so many mornings i found him crawling around with my bracelet so i needed something that had a lid to it so i won't be able to probably put as much jewelry in this but i figured it's a really pretty decorative little vase um you could probably put a candle in this you know and then when you're done burning it just put the lid on top um maybe put little like you could put makeup stuff in here like keep your beauty sponges lots of different things you could use this for but for me I will be keeping this on my bedside for my jewelry because I'm grabby little hands man he never misses a chance oh I bought these too hold on right over here you guys are gonna be getting this too so olive in June is one of my favorite regular just like nail polish brands they're not gel polish um, and so I bought two of each of these I got the quick dry top coat I've never seen this one before and I've been very into the gel nail polish at home like I've been doing these myself lately I love them but I do love olive and June polish I feel like it lasts so long so um, I'm gonna try out the quick dry and one of you guys is gonna get these and then these two colors we've got sagey and vintage which are really pretty like green and blue for spring so I'll also put that in there I did forget about those. I just have two baby things um, I got for Ezra, and I do need y'all's help. So if you are a mama, what did you do when your child was, so Ezra is not even a year old yet, he is in roughly, especially pants, because um, it's so cold outside, like he still needs pants right now. He needs to be an 18 to 24 month for the length. And even like, like tops are not long enough on him. He's just so long and like tall. But I cannot find 18 to 24 month or 18 month at all in anything. So it literally goes all the way up to 12 month. And then the next size I see is like 2T. There's a lot of space in between there. So either let me know in the comments like where your favorite place to get clothes from um, for your baby is for that in-between phase. But I find that like even Old Navy, like their stock on 18 to 24 months isn't great. But like my child needs clothing that fits him. None of his pants fit him. They're so, so short. So help me out. But I did find one thing. And I spent so much time going through Target. One pair of shorts that are the 18 month. Um, they were $12. They have an adjustable waist. And that is another thing too. Like he's so long, but he's so slim. So like he'll be in 18 to 24 months and it fits him in the length, but it's baggy in the waist. So it is what it is. But I thought these were really cute. They're little khaki shorts. Um, and I thought those would be great for when we do get some warmer weather. And then also socks because right now he is definitely still in his... I will absolutely be kicking this shoe off. Don't even try putting it on me phase. Um, or if we find a shoe that can stay on his foot, it has a tie on it and then he unties it and pulls it off and sticks it in his mouth. So he has been in socks a lot and sock sizes I find are just crazy. And this actually says it is like three to 12 month. And I feel like these look like they're the kind of socks that would fit him. So I just got this, they're from Carter's. I just got like a little eight pack of them. Um, so that is all I got from Target literally the world's most impromptu haul but i just came up with it on the spot to do this little giveaway for y'all so i hope that you enjoy it how to enter you guys please 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 i don't like i hate having to like change a giveaway winner but I'm going to give you guys, basically you just have to put um, this emoji in the comment section with a comment telling me what your favorite like product was, um, either in this video or just like your favorite thing to buy from Target. I will message you and all I'll say, it's not like you get some of those spam comments sometimes that tell you to text them on Telegram. I will never do that. I will literally just have you email me at my business email address, but in order to keep it fair, so I'm not like holding onto this stuff for months, um, you do have to email me within 24 hours of getting that comment. So. Definitely, if you entered in the giveaway, make sure you are checking back um, to see if you won because I did have to with the Walmart giveaway. It made me so sad, but I reached out like four separate times to both of those girls and I did not get an email or a comment or nothing. And so it broke my heart, but I had to pick different winners. Um, so just 
definitely check back and when you guys will be getting all this stuff. But thank y'all so much for watching this very random, babbly, impromptu Target video. I hope that you enjoyed it. Don't forget to go below, click the subscribe button if you're new here. Love you so much, and I'll see you in my next video.